after the ether has evaporated and it cooled to room temperature, you can see a white crystalline solid that formed inside the round bottom flask. I'm going to go weigh it, do a melting point, and uh, come back and do the chemical test. Two tests that we're going to do, one's going to be the chromic acid test. And the chromic acid test will be positive for primary alcohols, secondary alcohols, and aldehydes, but it will not be positive for ketones. So what I have here is just a blank. This is just some acetone that has the chromic acid reagent in it, and you can see that it has that orange color. And in a test tube, I added a little bit, a few crystals of our uh, product, the, the ketone, cyclododecanone, and it's dissolved. And so what I want to do now is add just a drop or two of the chromic acid reagent. And then mix that together. And remember, this is a negative test because this is what chromic acid looks like with nothing in it. And then notice we still have that same um, orange color. So there has been no change in that. So this is what we want. We don't want to see any uh, positive test because if we did, that means we did not have a ketone. So this being negative, that's exactly what we would want to see. The next test that we're going to do is called a 2,4 DNP test. And the DNP stands for dinitrophenylhydrazine. And the 2,4 DNP uh, is a reagent. It combines with carbonyl groups to form a carbon a carbon nitrogen double bond. So when we're looking at the, the 2,4 DMP reagent, I'm going to put some of that in some ethanol just so that you see what it looks like. Uh, and then we'll add our sample to some and then we'll see what happens when the test is done. Okay, so this is a just a blank, just what the 2,4 DMP looks uh, looks like with nothing reacting with it. And sometimes this takes a few minutes for a precipitate to form. We have formed, and it's actually more is precipitating out. I'm going to let that sit a minute, and then we'll come back and take a look at it. So this is the 2,4 DNP reagent with nothing in it. After a few minutes, this is the 2,4 DNP with the ethanol in our sample in it, and you can certainly see we formed kind of a uh, yellow-orange precipitate. What does that tell us? That tells us that we do have a carbonyl group. And technically, it could be either of an aldehyde or a ketone. We can rule out an aldehyde because the chromic acid test was negative. So chromic acid test negative means we do not have an aldehyde. And it also means that we do not have our secondary alcohol that we started with. So we're assuming that our product is all ketone and no unreacted alcohol that we collected. But you can certainly see that positive for the 2,4 DMP negative for the chromic acid, no uh, ketone, or excuse me, no aldehyde here. Uh, here we've got formation of a carbon carb, or excuse me, carbon oxygen double bond.